Hey everybody, welcome to the latest edition of Sketchy Goichi. I'm your humble host, Roger Andrews, illustrator, designer, content creator. And the content I'm creating for this video is specifically about how to not suck at art. Harsh, I know, but stay with me, I'll explain. Enjoy. Sketchy Goichi. All right, here we go. We are going to not suck at art today. First things first, let's get our screen open and let's get a new document started. We use using Procreate. And we will select a landscape. I like to do landscape because whenever I post these videos, I think they fill the screen, screen a little better on YouTube uh, in widescreen format. Those, most of you, I would assume, are watching this on your iPad or your laptop or perhaps your regular television um, and not on your iPhone. So if you do watch it on iPhone, I, f I f assume you switch it over to the landscape mode. All right, I'm going to select a background color. What do I want it to be? Um, let's go something bluish this time. Okay. And I will um, render in a dark gray. All right, so how to not suck at art. <laughs> I know, controversial. I get it, I get it. But here's the thing. You got to, A, just start drawing. Mm -hmm. Just some shapes. Uh, I'm not sure why, but a lot of people want to literally just look at an image or... Uh, even if they're making something out, out of their head, completely out of their head, they want to just, I guess, they want to get to the finished product right away. And there's some steps in the process. Um, but the key element is to draw in general, just to start. So I'm going to, I've got no rhyme or reason to what I'm rendering right now, guys. Um, at this point, I have no clue what I'm drawing. Um, the point is, to just draw. So I'm gonna do a couple of just, just some shapes on a page um, and see what emerges. If that's okay with you, like you have a choice. Okay. Just some random shapes on a page. Um, again, I don't know what it's gonna be feels like it's going to be some weird creature. Um, point is, uh, I'm not paralyzed <laughs> um, at the start because th this is not precious at this point. And by that I mean another mistake a lot of people make when they're rendering is Again, they're so focused on the finished product, they're not having any fun along the way creating whatever you are creating. Um, I really like the idea. And you can always edit, as I just did. Um, so if, for, for instance, I'm working on Procreate. Um, if you were perhaps rendering in pencil, very easily could erase. So I'm doing this sort of spider-like, crab-like thing. Uh, more spider-like, I guess, because he's kind of furry. And he's got this weird sort of beak thing happening there, along with his little pinchers. And it's a little representation of that, that back limb that's tucked, tucked behind. Okay. And then I'll do some little, a little pattern. If you're wondering why I'm only drawing half, <laughs> you'll see in a second. Um, I use Procreate because it's, it's kind of a handy tool, uh, you know, and it's something that I mentioned in a class once where, oh, by the way, I teach, uh, <laughs> teach illustration, um, so that's why I feel confident enough to share some of these little tips with you. Um, 
But there's something I, I was teaching my, uh, my students is that whenever you're rendering, you sh A, shouldn't be precious, as I mentioned earlier, and B, um, use Procreate or any other drawing app as a tool, not a crutch. The artist creates the art, and the program is just merely an instrument for you to um, design with and create with. Okay, so that's our half of the spider. So here's the reason I only drew half. I'm gonna erase out this side, these little extra construction lines. And I'm just erase it out. And a couple extra ones in here. It doesn't matter. It's just a sketch, so it doesn't really matter. Okay. As a matter of fact, I didn't need that last line. Um, and I'm going to take it and I'm going to select that half. And I'm going to copy and paste it. I'm going to flip it horizontal. And I'm going to move it over to make the other side. Okay. And I'm just going to erase the overlap. Join the two together. And there's our spider-like thing. All right. Um, hopefully, it's interesting. And the reason I wanted to render this super th super quick thing is to show that if you want to not suck at art, um, you literally have to take a blank sheet of paper. Um, Take a blank page on a on a drawing app. You could whatever means you can do like I often do when I'm at a restaurant that has uh, those little paper um, play settings, uh, a little paper mat that you put down. A lot of times it has um, stuff for kids to draw with crayons on the back of or in the front of, I should say. I flip it over to the blank side and I just start sketching with crayons on the back side. Um, I do that with my daughter a lot, and um, and the reason I I do is because you have to just draw, you have to get your reps in, you have to render a ton in order to get to a place where you feel comfortable and confident um, drawing. And if you want to get better at it, or get to a point where you're, you're really happy with what you draw, the only way to really do that successfully is to do it often. And I think what happens oftentimes, speaking of often, is people will do that one drawing and they get so discouraged that they don't want to, um, either they don't want to continue or they stay at that level. They don't seek out the knowledge or seek out the advice of how do I advance in art. So, um, I probably could have, you know, now I'm doing this now, I probably could have did a lot of this little subtle highlighting um, when I, <laughs> well, before I flipped it, you know, assuming the light source is uh, on equal sides. Uh, it doesn't matter. This is just for fun. See, starts on layer, so it doesn't matter. Oops, I'm trying to select them both. Okay, so that's that guy. So, vague, I know, but it, it really is simple. If you want to not suck at art, you got to do it. You got to draw. You've got to um, draw as often as you can, um, as many different subject matters as you can. And when you do, you'll gradually notice that you're getting better. So, bottom line, have fun at this, guys. It's just drawing, all right? You know how I do it. Sketchy goichi. Live your moment. Happy sketching, y'all. Peace.